Hello and welcome to another episode of the DMG Tech Show. I'm your host Jonathan Parkinson and this is going to be the second part of the tutorial on how to set up your Crouton on your Chromebook after you've already installed it. So in the past video we go ahead and set up a panel like we see above. In this video we're going to learn how to make that panel transparent as well as adding some of these little icons and even modifying our clock to the font style that we choose. We will then also add a background and that'll probably be it for this video as I'm trying to keep them about five minutes. So the first things first what we're going to need to do is to settings then window manager tweaks. If you do not have a menu bar like you do right here you can go ahead and right click the desktop, go to applications, go to settings and there it is again. So what we're going to need to do in here is we're not going to get too deep into this. This will be uh, set for another video later on down the road. Go to Compositor and click Enable Display Compositing. Go ahead and close it as soon as you've done that. The next thing we're going to want to do is install an image editor. The reason we need an image editor is because we're going to need a transparent image. You can probably go online and download one without having to get an image editor, but you're probably going to need one later on down the road, so we might as well get it done now. Uh, go ahead and open up your terminal. From your terminal, go ahead and type in sudo apt get install gimp. Gimp is an open source, type in your password, an open source image a manipulation program. It's completely free. You can download it for everything such as Mac, Windows, and Linux. Uh, I already have it installed, so I don't need to install it anymore. Go ahead and close your terminal as soon as you've done that. Go back into your menu, go to your graphics, and go to GIMP Image Editor. Once that is opened up, just go ahead and create a new file, or sorry, a new image. So file, new. The key here is to go to the advanced options, go to fill with, transparency, click OK. Now you want to save this file, so go to save as find a location you want to save it. In my example I'm going to go to pictures, desktop icons and more and you can see I already have one created. I'll just save it over that one, go ahead and replace it, save and now we can exit out of GIMP. The next step, go ahead and right click the panel, go to panel, panel preferences, appearance and now we're going to go ahead and edit the appearance. For the style we're going to go to background image and it already pulled up my background image because I kind of already manipulated this in the beginning all you need to do is go into file and then go find your file location that you just saved and open it up go ahead and close that and we're done next thing is adding some of these icons if you do not have the menu button up here and you do try to go down this way and drag and drop as you're gonna see you can't drag and drop anything from right clicking the desktop so you're going to actually need this menu button. To get that menu button just go back into your panel, panel preferences, items, click the plus button and it's under application menu right there. Now we'll go into our menu. Yeah so whatever icon we're going to need here from for example we'll do GIMP since we just installed that. Go ahead and click, hold and drag it up to the bar wherever you want it. That little red line is going to be exactly where it gets dropped. So we'll do it right there. Create launcher, and there you have it. Go back into your panel, panel preferences, items. From here, this is where you can arrange everything. As you see, it's named launcher. If I take that launcher and move it up right there, the GIMP icon moves over, and so on. Close that. Now, to edit this time, go to right click just anywhere, go to panel, panel preferences. This item is actually called date and time. Do not get it confused with clock. This is not as customizable as the date and time one. So now that we have date and time highlighted, go to edit right there, which is our edit. I have it set to time only. The reason is, is when you hover over it, you're going to see the date. If you click it, you're going to get the calendar. So I don't feel I need to have it all kind of set up in one place. How the date is going to be explained when you hover over. The font style, when you click that, and change it to whatever font you would like as well as the size you want to do it. So go ahead and uh, adjust it to the size you're looking and close that. Uh, format 
If you like getting military time, if you like a PM, AM, or any of that, or you can customize it yourself. I customized mine myself. Go ahead and get a desktop uh, wallpaper. So what you want to do is go ahead and right click your desktop, go to desktop settings, and we can change your background from here. Again, thanks for watching. Hopefully this works out for you.